hello and welcome in this video i will show you another feature a new feature which I, which is in preview state which is new vendor invoice center and this feature is basically a nice uh, you know i would, I would say a nice enhancement or nice uh, functionality which microsoft has given i will talk about in detail about this feature so this feature is in preview it is it, it is from 1039 version and you know in 1030 you version 1040 version it has been enhanced so right now i am in 1040 version so uh, it will i will show you the enhanced version of this new vendor in voice center so if you are less than the 1040 version you will not be able to see what i am now showing because this is now been enhanced right so once i have enabled this feature uh, new workspace called vendor invoice center will be visible under the accounts payable module under the workspace so this feature is very straightforward and very very nice i would say because once you open this it will look like this so this feature is all about how you manage your invoice a vendor or supplier invoice in one form in this from this form you can you can see that how many invoice maybe i can change this legal entity usma to see a lot of data out there so this changed so first you will see these dashboards or the tiles so this is basically a workspace under this workspace you will see capture and import manual entry automation workflow to post so th this talks about majorly on the vendor invoice automation which is a which is the example of invoice capture functionality which which the invoices are created not in dynamics but it has come up by integration right if you see the capture and import this, this is this is basically the this is related to the vendor invoice automation which is coming from outside of the system as an integration manual entry is what which the invoices are created in d65 automation again so this automation is not like uh, only related to the 65 invoice capture or any other software but this is this automation is basically automatic you know submit into the workflow and automatic three-way matching policy automatic three-way matching that i will talk about or i will give a glimpse or i will just describe how it works and this and again this is workflow so workflow means any invoice which is part of your workflow it will show how many are in the process and how many are, are under your approval and to post everything is done how many are need to be posted not only this you will also you will also get to see all the pending vendor invoices is available here okay you can edit it from here you can click on view all and all the invoices will come up and open purchase order will also be able to you will be able to see those from this form product receipt all the product receipt which are there in the system it will come here and if you want you can just invoice it from here itself and if you want to find some purchase order you can just you know uh, just type it and it will show you the purchase order number the interesting part what i liked in this uh, workspace is not only is the it is a tile it will also drill down if you click on this without manual entry without at all how many are 13 so if you click on this 13 it will redirect you to those invoices directly okay and some action also you can take it and in any time if you want to change the legal entity from here i want to see the dashboard of other legal entity you can see that okay and another thing what i liked is the workflow submission error <clears throat> if you click on this five workflow submission it will give you the details that what was the last submitted error so if you see while system was submitting automatically the workflow this is the system has received this one invoice number must be specified that 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 is the reason it system could not submit into the workflow automatically that's why it is coming under automation and workflow how many are in process you can still read down how many are in approval you can just click on my approvals and from here itself you can just select and click on app workflow and you can approve it from here itself so this is the nice i would say look and feel and uh, you know 
if someone is facing some issue while you know going here and there from where to approve and all they can come here and approve their approve their workflow from here and if someone wants to see the in process automation and workflow submission error they can see it from here another important thing what i liked in this dashboard is say even if this uh, invoices were created manually in system but you can still leverage the automation functionality just selecting those invoices which you want to automatically you know submit into the three way matching policy and then automatically submit, submit into the workflow so you just select those invoices and click on include in automation okay you can just click on yes cancel so if you just you know refresh the browser you will notice those invoices which you have selected those are not into this manual entry see this uh, this were this was 13 is a number and you have included those into the automation process and now the automation process is like in process 11 or workflow submission 5 let's see if i click on 11 and it will show you set automated receipt matching not yet run it is it is waiting so that is how basically it is work and if you want to exclude this from the automation any time you just select those invoices and exclude from automation okay so i have excluded this if i were just you just you know for the inter interest of time if i just okay it's like four it is showing us four so it will just exclude it after some time if you want you can resume this automation okay so now if i talk about this automation what is automation it's very basically very simple the invoices which is coming from invoice capture app which is ocr technology maybe you know uh, it can use the dynamic CCTV of ocr capture or it is using another ocr capture ultimately those are coming up from outside the 65 they are not created in the 65 right so for those you can have an automation process which is under accounts payable module and accounts payable parameters and in the accounts payable parameter you will see the option called tab called vendor invoice automation so those invoices which is coming outside of dynamics coming from outside of dynamics 65 as invoice capture or any other app you can configure like automatic submit into the workflow so whenever those invoices came into the 65 so those can be automatically submitted to the invoice to workflow but still you need to make sure your invoice matching is completed right for that this check product receipt status before workflow submission needs to be enabled and automatically match product receipt to invoice lines this also needs to be enabled if you want the prepayment prepayments also automatically be uh, uh, you know added into those product receipt you can also uh, sorry not, not product receipt in invoice you can also enable this and automatically create invoice lines based on the product receipt quantity you can just enable this you can just explode and as per your requirement you can just enable it so once these processes or or the options are enabled after that you need to make sure that some batch in the system needs to be you know in 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 waiting stage as per your record interval so um, I like automatic let's wait wait for some time so it is taking some time okay so if you see the automatic validate vendor invoice matching with product receipt automatic match vendor invoice lines with product receipt and automatic vendor invoice workflow submission three, these three batches needs to be you know up and running as a recurrent basis then only this automation will work so as a summary what i can explain that any invoice which is coming from outside the 65 as i say suppose invoice ocr functionality invoice capture app those can be automated further like those can be automatically matched as per the three-way matching policy and also once matched it can be submitted to the workflow event by which in accounts payable uh, accounts payable parameter and vendor invoice automation 
and once those are enabled you can you know leverage this workspace in fully i would say because if you don't have this automation if you don't have inverse capture still you can use it but this automation right in app capture and in in board it will make no sense because you are not using it right but still you can use it like manual entry workflow it all can be visible you can analyze it but if you have ocr functionality don't forget to utilize this functionality like vendor inverse automation and then once you have enabled it enabled it and come you know come into this vendor inverse center it will you know you can use this workspace fully i would say so that is all about the vendor inverse center new feature which has come in recent version i um, mean 10 to 40 version and i can reel down this number and it will show me the invoices in detail so that's all about the new workspace which microsoft has you uh, know brought which is called vendor invoice center that's all about uh, this video what i wanted to showcase and i hope you will be able to take this advantage and leverage this functionality in your organization or in your in your implementation right so that's it that's it for this video thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now